Hello, my gorgeous Aries. This is Devs and this is your weekly TGIF for Friday the 5th of May 2023. Hope you're well, Aries. It is lovely to be with you. Um, guys, before I start, forgive my hands. Oh, I'm kind of covered in scratches. My kitties had a scrap and I had to separate them and I kind of got in the middle. <laughs> but there we go. That's what happens when you own two kittens. All right. Now, Aries, let's delve in using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with source, help me channel. And the deck is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Now, guys, I've opened up membership if you want to join. It's $9.99 a month, and for that, you get weekly readings that are ad-free that you do not find on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, click the join button and the information's there. If you guys want a private reading, you can reach me on my website, debraclare.com, which is also in the description box. And all the decks that I use are in there too, okay, if you're interested. With that said, my beautiful Aries, let's get into your weekly reading. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 5th of May, 2023. Oh, am I losing my voice? I'm losing my voice. Too many readings today. Thank you, Michael. Oh, this is really interesting. Um, I'm seeing somebody running down a long corridor and suddenly noticing there's a massive hole in the floor. And just before they end up falling into the hole, they take a leap and they get over it. Interesting. Wonder what that's all about. Aries, are you avoiding a disaster? Sounds like it. Okay, Aries, you may be avoiding some kind of disaster. You may be taking action so that something doesn't, doesn't disintegrate. Yeah, okay. Maybe taking action. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel. Okay. Guys, sorry for the noise outside. Got boy racers outside. It's a Sunday in Nice. <laughs> C'est la vie. All right, there we go. We're waiting for those. All right, Aries, there we go. Let's see what story will unfold for you guys back in a moment. Oh my goodness, Aries. Okay, are you ready for this one, guys? Took me a while to figure it out. Aries, you're coming through as a queen of wands, okay? So I could be connecting with a feminine Aries. Now, Aries, I think, let's start from the beginning, okay? You met and fell into a relationship with a king of pentacles. Okay? So this is you and your partner. Long-term relationship. You could have been younger than this person. But this is someone that provided you with a lot of financial stability. I feel that you ended up taking a leap of faith and a risk. You did something a little bit foolish you may have headed off quietly for a little bit of fun with the energy of the chariot. You could have started a relationship with a Cancerian or you could have quietly met someone at a distance and started an affair. This person may well be an air sign, king of swords, Aquarius Libra Gemini, or your king of pentacles found out we've got someone here using an eyeglass and called you out, Page of Swords. What do you think you're doing messing around with somebody else when we are together? You were juggling me with somebody else at a distance. I found out. So you may have been called out, Aries. Sorry, guys. It could be switched. You know my readings can be completely reversed. Your person coming through as the King of Pentacles may have said to you, I'm heartbroken to find this out because I have been working my ass off, Ace of Pentacles, in order to give you a really good life. 
So you could have been dependent financially on this person, Aries. Whilst my back was turned, you were off juggling me with this king of swords. Aries, you may have pulled back. You may have been defensive. You may have felt I've caused my own demise. I caused issues in my relationship because I took a risk. And I think you've been trying to heal the connection with your person. You're hanging on to it with the Nine of Wands. This is you, Four of Pentacles. So you're trying to patch up a long-term relationship by leaving a lover in the past. What you're doing is you are trying to move into the energy of the magician, simply manifest peace and harmony in your long-term relationship again. Okay? You want to move into the energy of the star. You want things to calm down. I think your person has forgiven you, but it was a bit of a shock because you may suddenly have realised, Aries, how much you might have lost. Okay? That is the story. You guys can read it in any which way you want. Oh, Aries. Let's get into Sacred Forest, Denise Lem. What else do we have from Sacred Forest for my Aries? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, so you left a lover behind. You might have been bored in a codependent relationship, but I think you realised all you lost... And you decided to hang on to the connection and maybe apologise to your person who's heartbroken that they found this out. Okay, guys. No judgment, people. I'm just the reader. Watch the comments. <laughs> I love you all. Okay, let's have a look at these cards. So, guys, we start off with Moonlight Enchantment. Aries, you may have been bowled over by somebody, enchanted by someone. They might have been super attractive, really sexy, and it could be that your partner worked away for a period of time. And I think you were just bored. I think behind closed doors, with the energy of that full moon, you manifested a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun, nothing more than that playfulness. So behind closed doors, you move towards a lover. For a period of time, I think, Aries, you had such a lovely time. It activated something inside you that was dead and gone in the relationship you were in, and you felt alive again. You felt freedom. You felt alive again. You felt desired again. Everything sort of switched on inside you. And for a certain period of time, Aries, with the energy of success, you thought that you were getting away with this. You thought this is perfect. I'm in a long-term relationship where I'm being financially supported by my husband, but I'm managing to hide a really exciting lover on the side. And then everything crashed. Your person became enlightened that maybe with a one and a nine, which is 10, you didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. They found out about the lover and they called you out. What are you gonna do, Aries? What do you wanna do? Do you wanna leave me? Do you wanna be with your lover? I think, Aries, you got stressed and you've moved straight into the energy of the wise woman of the grove. I think this is you realizing that you didn't want to let go of your partnership and this is you patching up your relationship. You did it with grace. You did it with dignity. I think you let this lover go. And this is you hanging on to your relationship. You've learned a lot of lessons. You've become wise. You're never going to do that again. So Aries, it's a challenging reading, I think, for this week. Okay, but that's what we have. Now, I could be connecting with an Aries man who potentially found out that their woman was playing around on them. I could be connecting with a third party who's an Aries and it can work that way too. So take it as it resonates, guys. All right, let's move into tarot. Here we go, Arcano Tarot. Archangel Michael, what do we have for this reading, please? For my lovely Aries, Aries. For my lovely Aries, thank you, Michael. The Emperor. Okay, yeah. So Aries, 
you were in a long-term situation with your emperor, okay? But with the Three of Cups, I think you may have been a bit bored. He may have worked away for a period of time or you've been together for 10 years. You wanted a little bit of fun. Your emperor was stable. It might be he brought in a good salary. The connection was based on stability. But I think you felt you needed something else. Yeah, you needed something else. So with the Seven of Cups, it jumped out of my hands. I think you pursued another option. You may have gone quietly. Internet dating area. Yeah. So there we have you, Aries, Queen of Wands twice. You could be looking gorgeous. You could be really sexy. I don't think you had any problem in finding someone else to have a little bit of fun with. Yeah, you went for it, Aries. Eight of Cups. So you left your house and you pursued a connection with someone that you felt you wanted to be with. You left a lot of confusion behind. You chose one option. And with this full moon here, and with this full moon here, Aries, you hid another relationship. Yes, you were, in fact, the Empress, Emperor and Empress. Yeah, you hid another relationship. Seven of Swords. So this is a challenge. So you moved into the energy of the Seven of Swords because you wanted some fun. Yeah, the energy of the Fool. There we go. You wanted some fun. My Emperor won't know. He's not really home very much anyway. Yeah, uh, you met someone. Oh, okay. You could have met a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. You may have been completely obsessed with this person. A lot of sexual chemistry. And with the two of wands, they were equally enamoured by you. Could have been a long distance situation. What was Aries thinking about? Yeah. Aries, I think you might have thought to yourself once or twice, should I leave my person for this lover? Should I do it? But you were sat in the energy of the Ten of Pentacles and I think you believed it would be very risky to jeopardise that. So this all happened in secret. And then the tower came down. And then the tower came down. You risked losing your stability. You risked losing your stability. Yeah, so this was a challenge. Five of Cups. You sat in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Yeah. And it could well be that with the energy of the hermit, you took some time to really think about what you wanted. You could have been in a relationship with a Virgo. Your lover could have been a Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. You thought about all the time and effort you put into a relationship with your emperor. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, seven, eight years of working on a relationship. You were thinking about the financial security of it too. Yeah. And I think even though with the Three of Swords, Three of Swords twice, your emperor was heartbroken, you felt heartbroken because I have to say you may have fallen in love with your lover with the person that you were in a connection with, but realised that you couldn't leave your stability. So it was painful. All the way round, it was painful. Yes. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles twice. Here too. You realised that you had to hang on to your stability. You realised that you had have to let go of your lover to patch up things with your partner. Yeah, you had to stay in the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. You wanted to keep your stability, so that's what you decided to do. Yes, 
So you told the other guy who possibly is coming through as a king of wands hmm, that you were going back. Unbelievable. Six of cups that you were going back to your husband. Yeah. Six of wands. You may have been called out by the divine Aries. The six of wands can be a little bit of ego. All right. But I think you felt you had no choice. Six of swords. Yeah. So you ended up moving to Karma Waters. And I think that this is you successfully patching up your long term relationship. Page of Cups. You may have done it because you had a child with your partner or this is you apologising to not only your partner but maybe your lover too. He might have been devastated. Yeah, I mean this is you apologising for sitting in the energy of the moon, keeping secrets, not being open and honest. Yeah, Ten of Wands. So you're sitting in the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. It's not easy you feel very burdened because your partner doesn't trust you anymore. You've got to rebuild that relationship. But I think you're determined to do it. Yeah, because you want to stay with your king of pentacles. King and queen of pentacles. So, of course, your king of wands is devastated. What is the energy of the king of wands, Michael? Justice. So he found out, or he already knew, that you were married to someone else in a long-term relationship with somebody else. He's tried to move himself into a place of balance. Yeah. I don't know, Aries. Did you make out that you were single when you weren't? He may have realised you were in a long-term relationship in a ten of cups with some other guy that you may have been married to for eight, ten years. What was his reaction? He could have been mad. Chariot is charging forward, wanting the truth. It could be he was a Cancerian and it broke his heart. It could be that he literally said, that's that. That's that. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm going. I don't want to see you again. So he may have just left you behind. What was his energy after that, Michael? Seven of Wands, yeah. So your lover became very defensive. He got upset because you wouldn't leave your partner. Could have been a lot of messages of anger. You may even have not let this guy know, Aries, that you were married or in a long-term live-in situation with someone. You may have sort of made out that you were single. Death. So your lover may have asked you if you were going to end your marriage, end your connection, or your lover got very angry and upset and said, that's it, we're never going to meet again, that's it. This was really difficult. Page of Swords, yeah, so he was angry. He was angry. Why? Why? Because he found out that he was simply your lover and he might have fallen in love with you, Aries. So this was a challenge for him. How are things working out for Aries in their partnership, their long-term relationship? Is it going to last? Is it going to last? Yes. I mean, Aries, with the star, and again, we've got the star twice, there is going to be healing. You're balancing your energies. I think you got a bit of a shock. I think it woke you up to the realisation that you could have actually caused a complete tower moment in your relationship. It could have gone under. This is you jumping over this massive hole in the floor, suddenly realising, oh my goodness, whew, I'm okay. I've saved the relationship. Yeah. Yes, this is all going to work out. Okay, yeah. So you're patching up your long-term relationship. The Hierophant is marriage, long-term stability. So this is what you're doing now, Aries. Yeah. What is happening in Aries' partnership? Okay. It's a challenge, Aries. I think you're burying your feelings, okay? 
You may be saying to your husband, there's absolutely no communication between me and my lover anymore. It's done. It's over with. Goodness me. Yeah, I'm holding back from my lover. Strength card. Yeah, you're trying to patch up your long-term commitment, Aries. This was a shock for you when your partner found out. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're holding back from being overindulgent again. You've learned your lesson. With the Four of Cups, you may sometimes find yourself thinking about this lover of yours. You know, I miss him. I wish we were back together again. But you're realising you've got too much to lose. Yeah, Three of Wands. There could be some quiet moments, Aries, where you think, I wonder what would have happened if I left my husband for my lover. You may think about him across the water, you know. But I feel, Aries, you're going to stay in your partnership. Yeah, you've made the decision, the judgment call, to patch up your relationship. This was difficult, Aries, for you. Bless you. Temperance. Sag energy with judgment and temperance. You could have Sag in your chart. You could have connected with a Sagittarian masculine. I think the angels are trying to temper your energies. They're trying to help you bring balance to the connection. You're tempering the desire to head off and find another lover. I think you're holding back from being overindulgent again. Yeah, that cycle that you were in, Aries, is now over. You closed the book. You've learned the lesson. I think it scared you for a period of time. And this is you wanting to do the right thing. Okay? Yeah, Four of Swords. You're sitting in contemplation, thinking about what might have been. I could have destroyed a very stable relationship. Yeah, you're concentrating on patching things up, Aries. I think that's what you plan on doing. King of Cups. Your person really loves you, Aries. They may not show it. You may be dealing with a long-term partner who doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, but he does love you. And I think he wants the connection to go back to normal. I think it was a shock for him, you know. Page of Wands. He may start telling you you look beautiful, you look sexy. Maybe he realised that he didn't pay you the attention that he needed to. Yeah, maybe it's actually going to bring the two of you back together again. Oh, I got the Queen of Cups. Aries, I think you as the Empress and your Emperor are actually shifting into the King and Queen of Cups again. Your Emperor's very much appreciating you a lot more. You're appreciating your emperor. You guys could have a child with a page. And I think you're going to do everything you can to try and patch up the connection. It might have been a bit of a shock for both of you, you know. But I think you're going to pull together. There may be times where you think about your lover. You may miss them. But I think what you're realising is you had too much to lose. And I think you're going to patch up the relationship with your partner. And actually, I do feel that it might have been meant to be. It might be that both of you needed a bit of a shock for you to understand the importance of your relationship. Yeah. So Aries, an interesting reading, guys. Let's get into messages. Okay, people, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, speak from the heart. I want to know how your lover feels. Should we find out how your lover feels, Aries? Bless him. Yeah, okay, it was a challenge for him. I feel like you abandoned me and the connection. Life feels so empty without you. So he is missing you, your lover, Aries. Yeah, you had fun for a while, you know. I do have fantasies about you. Maybe they're better left in that space. Yeah, I think your lover realises you're not coming back. I feel like it was easy for you to walk away. Are you gone for good? Aries, don't keep this poor guy hanging on. Because maybe you might meet up with him now and again. Yeah, you've got to do the right thing. Tell him it's over. Tell him you patched up things with your husband or your long-term partner. Because it sounds as if 
he doesn't really know if you're truly gone for good. And you need to do the right thing. What are you saying to him? Yeah, I needed to make a healthy boundary. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Okay, Aries, you just wanted a bit of fun. And you had to put up a really strong boundary because I think you realised your lover was falling in love with you. What else would you want to say to your lover, Aries? I can't feel you like I used to anymore, but when I do, I miss you so much it hurts. Oh, Aries. I think you and your lover fell for each other and it was a really painful decision. A really painful decision to walk away, but you did it for your stability. Mm. Some days are easier than others, but I feel like you're still there somewhere. Yeah. Last message from you to your lover, Aries. It's important for me to stay grounded and balanced no matter what is going on. Yeah, again, importance to stay grounded. You realise that you were about to lose a very stable long-term situation. Okay, just dipping into Andromeda Sky, Silent Heart Love Oracle. This is a challenging reading, Aries. I'm just going to be asking what you would want to say to your partner, your long-term partner, husband. Take it as it resonates, okay? What would you want to say to your partner, Aries? Yeah. I've unwittingly sabotaged our connection. Aries, you did not want to jeopardise your long-term relationship. You simply wanted some fun. You simply wanted some fun. That's all you really wanted. You did not expect to be found out. You did not expect to be called out by your husband. You didn't expect to hurt your lover. You didn't want any of it. Now you realise that you could have damaged your long-term relationship for good. Yeah. So what you're saying to your partner, Aries, is there was someone keeping you from them. So maybe you pull back emotionally from your partner. But yeah, I'm afraid of losing you. I mean, you realised that you were jeopardising a very stable connection you've been in for a long time. And I think it frightened you and you patched things up with your partner. You do feel like you can be your true self around your partner. There's a comfortable energy between the two of you. What else does Aries want to say to their long-term partner? I run away to avoid facing my problems. So Aries, is there a deep-seated issue in the relationship? Is that why you need to find solace and love and affection and attention from other men? Maybe, Aries, okay, maybe you need to look at that, perhaps. Yeah, you don't actually want your partner to give up on you. This is you feeling a bit scared. And this is you realising you could have lost him for good. Yeah, I think you got scared. Please don't move on, yeah. So this is what you are saying to your long-term partner. Okay, Aries, don't give up on me. I run away to avoid facing my facing my problems. Please don't move on. So you're patching up your long-term situation. I don't know if you can see that card, guys. All right, Aries, what a reading. Take it as it resonates. It could be completely switched, but I'm leaving it there. Have an amazing weekend. Take care of you. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Aries.